Hey, Peak Fitness, Roman Tressor here. And today, guys, I just kind of go over you with working out while you're out traveling. So like I stated in the introduction, guys, I want to go over a few things for you guys on what you can do to work out while you're traveling. Now, just in case you guys are wondering, I am clearly in way, way upstate New York. I don't know if you could see. There is snow everywhere. Um, it's supposed to snow either tonight or tomorrow again, and it is going to be cold. Uh, it's single digits cold. Um, so working out outside, not the best option. Um, also, I do apologize because I don't have my regular lights set up. Um, I don't have my tripod or anything like that. I don't have my good stuff. So you're just getting this on my phone. I'm going to try to give you the best uh, material for working out and as best as possible or as best as I possibly can. Um, so let's kind of get started. So one of the things that a lot of people are going to run into is that they may travel every now and then. And usually if you're lucky, it may be a day or two and you might be all right to miss a workout here and there. In this case, guys, I'm going to be gone for almost two weeks and my hotel does not have a gym. Um, it's fitness room literally is just a treadmill, a captain's chair, and a, uh, an elliptical. That's it. It has nothing else. So for resistance training, I'm kind of limited. And I forgot to bring a resistance band. So everything I've had to do, I've had to do body weight only. So just kind of give you a look. You know, if you're in a hotel room such as I am, you can see this bed here. And I was sleeping over there. Um, so you can see... I, I, this is my, this is what I have. So what I want to show you guys is something that you can do in the hotel to get a workout. And in particular guys, um, full body workouts, because I am here. I'm not going to be able to spend a whole lot of time working out. Plus I want to keep my workout short and intense. So I'm going to give you guys a few exercises that you can do while working out in a hotel room using strictly what's in a hotel and your body weight. All right, now as you can see, I'm here standing in a clear space in my hotel. You don't need a whole lot of room to do what we're gonna do today. But I wanna give you guys some exercises that you can do while at a hotel room to get a good workout in. Now it doesn't have to be um, a whole lot of exercises or anything intense. And because Peak Fitness is about doing things at home with little to no gym equipment, you can also do this at home. So today guys, I'm gonna give you guys a full body workout you can do in, the, in, excuse me, in a hotel room if need be using just your body weight and maybe a chair. So let's get started. Now, the first exercise is going to be the jumping jacks. So we're all pretty familiar, uh, familiar with the jumping jacks. And this particular uh, exercise program, you're gonna do between three to five sets, by the way, and you're gonna be doing 10 to 15 reps, depending on your physical fitness level. And also, in this case, I totally forgot about the um, acclimation to the weather. So for example, when I did this workout today, I was extremely out of breath because I'm such a higher altitude, um, it's harder for me to breathe. So I got tired a lot faster, but I did um, five sets of these. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the same workout. So the first exercise, like I said, is just jumping jacks. We all know how to do a jumping jack. And again, I apologize about the poor uh, camera quality and everything else like that, I'm kind of limited. Um, so, well, the first thing is a jumping jack. So regular jumping jacks, you wanna jump, all right? Make sure you kind of clap your hands and then back down. As you jump, you want to get your legs about um, a little wider than hip width apart. You're going to, you know, and the same way your arms coming up and down. You want to try to keep your arms moving as a straight line. Try not to bend your arms too much. The more your arms move, or the longer they are, the further your arms are out, the more you can work your shoulders. So that way, you'll get a little bit of a shoulder workout in here as well. Also, Keep in mind of the people downstairs if you're on the top floor. So try not to jump too hard or too much. Like try to keep the jumping stuff to a very, 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 very bare minimum. So you're going to do between 10 to 15 reps of these jumping jacks. So 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 13, 15. All right. Yes, I counted wrong on purpose. So you did 15. As soon as you're done with that, you're going to go right away into body weight squats or air squats. Now I've shown you guys how to do these in the past, so keep these in mind as well. You wanna go ahead and keep your feet about hip width apart. All right, I don't care where your arms go. Some people like it behind the head, some want up straight, some do what I do, which is curl in. All right, make sure you think about kicking back that hip. So you keep your back straight, go down, and then back up. So 
keeping the knees just over the toes. Don't let your knees flare out to the side or in. So you wanna go ahead and do 10 to 15 of these. All right, when you go down, think about hip drive and pushing up with your hips. As soon as you're done with that, right away, drop down to do push-ups. So, let me kind of adjust the camera a little here so you can see the push-ups. So now, we want to go ahead and do some push-ups. Now the push-ups, again, we want to think about doing a, a good neutral uh, push-up position so we can work the triceps and the chest at the same time. So you want to have your hands about shoulder width apart midline so you want it lined up with like the nipple of your chest keep your back and everything straight and actually think about being on those toes pretty high up you know tighten everything your quads your butt your glutes everything like that your abs go down and let the arms go out at about a 45 degree angle so that way you're working your chest and your triceps so you want to get to a 10 to 15 reps doing this think also if you're just starting out if you have to keep your head pointing up because you don't want your head to be pointing down and you move with your head then all of a sudden you think you're going lower than what you really are you're not all right but you want to do 10 to 15 of those as soon as you're done with that you go right away into mountain climbers so go ahead and go into mountain climbers it's going to be 10 on each leg or 10 to 15 on each leg all right now after the mountain climbers you're gonna go into um like bicycle crunches uh, crunches or something along those lines um there's different names for them so but how you do this is you lay flat on your back okay and this is supposed to work your obliques have your hands behind your head and what you want to do is keep one leg straight out the other up and you're gonna crunch in. And then you just go side to side. You wanna do 10 to 15 on each side. Now, when you do ab exercises, don't think about, let me see if you can get my arms away, don't think about pushing the stomach out. You actually wanna do is when you do these ab exercises, you wanna think about bringing the abs in so you can work on developing a good flat stomach because by training your stomach to push out you can start getting that distended gut look and you don't want that we want that nice slim waistline so next is going to be high knees all right again be mindful of the people downstairs and stuff around you so to do the high knees guys is think about running in place all right but instead you're going to bring your knee up and a lot of times what you want to do is you want to think about hitting your hand as you do it again it's gonna be 10 to 15 on each leg. So you're gonna also try not to round the back, everything else like that. And you wanna keep your chest pointed up at an angle. So, you know, if you have really had to, um, think about keeping like a fist between your head and chest so that way you can keep your airway open. So when you do this, you wanna bring your knees up, but you wanna run it. So one, two, three, four, just like that. <laughs> Now, camera moved. Now, when you're doing those um, and you land, don't land flat-footed. You want to roll through the foot, the ball of the feet, so that way you don't injure yourself. Now, the next exercise, we go back onto the floor once again. So let's go ahead and adjust camera. Uh, all right. So, next exercise, guys. If you've seen me do this before and it's our Russian V twists. And the reason I like this is because it works a lot of the abs. You don't have to do this. If you want, you can just do, go ahead and do in and out or with them. So you go in and out. So you can do 10 to 15 of those. But if you can, add the twist. So that way, we go ahead and work all the abs. Again, when doing these, Keep your hands out to the side. So if you're facing front, out to the side to stabilize you. Engage the stomach so it's pressed in. And when you're doing this, don't go any lower. I know it's kind of hard to see and I apologize. You know, don't 
touch the floor. You want to go low so, and then bring it up. So that way you can get the most workout. Also, when you're doing this, don't think about pushing up with your hands. You really should be able to do this with no support. But if you're just starting, that might be a little much. So leave your, leave your arms down strictly for support. Now after that, guys, I like to call this the optional one, and that's just regular floor crunches. So get down, and you can keep your feet flat on the ground and do the crunch. And when you do the crunch, really think about rolling the back, curve the back. That's how you're gonna get, really work all those abs. You don't wanna flat back it because you just work your hip flexors. We don't wanna do that. You can go ahead and crunch it. If you don't like doing that, you can put your hands across your chest so that you're not pulling on your neck. Um, or if you really want to, guys, bring your knees up. So either way is fine. Again, 10 to 15 of those. After that, you're gonna need a chair for this next exercise. So let's go ahead and get adjusted so we can do that. All right, you see I got my 1970s chair here, um, but I don't really care what it looks like. You can't use a chair, use a bed, do something. And what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna go ahead and do tricep dips. So when doing this, guys, keep in mind, since you've got a rolling chair, you're gonna lose, you need a little stability. Um, you need to have your arms in a good position. You can really mess up your shoulders if they're not. So when you do these, me personally, I like to have my hands facing forward. So that way when I go down, I am not putting any stress on my uh, trice or shoulders. If you feel pain in your shoulders, adjust your hands to a point where you don't, okay? Some people have to have their hands pointed out to a side at an angle and that's okay, all right? The idea is, is you don't want to feel that in your shoulders, you want it in your triceps. So go ahead and do these dips. Now, when you're doing the dips, you want your hands as close to your body as you can get because we want to work the triceps. Keep your legs out and understand the further out you go, the harder it is to do. So if it's too hard, bring it in and then go down. We want to do 10 to 15 reps of those. Also keep in mind, if you can't go all the way down yet, then just do partials. You know, the point of this is to build yourself up to doing it. Next is our last exercise, and that is gonna be putting us back on the floor, and it's gonna be um, uh, leg lifts. So let's go ahead and get back down there. All right, so we're back, we're doing leg lifts. Have you seen these in past videos? All right, I'm sorry again, not a whole lot of room to get a good camera shot. But hands flat on the floor here, behind your head, do whatever, somewhere. You wanna engage the core, trying to keep your back flat against the floor at all times. You don't wanna, you don't wanna arch where you can get your hand under there or anything like that. You want it flat against the floor so you can't get anything. You don't want like a pencil to go under there. So, excuse me, bring your legs up, lower it down, and then back up. One, two, three. Now when you're doing this, think about bringing your abs in. All right, tighten those abs to bring the legs up and push your abs and your back and everything down into the floor so you're really engaging the abs. You wanna do 10 to 15 of those. Make sure the legs, when they go down, they stop a few inches before hitting the floor. You don't want them to stop on the floor. If you at any point feel any kind of back pain from doing this, you generally have a weaker core, then go as low as you can until the back, uh, uh, to where the, the back pain no longer presents. So if you're here, and this is where the back pain stops, and that's as far as you go, all right, until you develop the strength. Also, you don't want to go too low or any lower than necessary. If you get to a point where if you're down here, but your back arches, 
they're too low. So go only where to the, to the point where your back is able to stay in contact with the floor. <sighs> so with that, guys. That's my hotel room full body weight workout. You want me to do between three to five sets of these. <sighs> do this workout a minimum of three days a week if you can. If possible, do it every single day. It should only take you about 15, 20 minutes to do, depending on how long of a break that you need. Try to keep the breaks short, between 30 seconds to a minute. However, adjust accordingly. If you're not acclimated to the altitude, such as I am up here, um, you may need to take a little longer break to catch your breath. I mean, like, I was getting dizzy doing this. Um, I'm just so not used to this higher altitude anymore, even though I lived here for a few years at one point. So with that, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you've got any comments or suggestions, I'm leaving them below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and um, click that bell for more notifications. Again, I apologize about the poor video quality, the lighting, and even the editing on this is going to be way bad because I'm just doing everything on my phone. So I apologize with that. With that, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.